So we have our uh, steel plates bent here. And now let's get them bent to kind of the correct angle before we actually mount them to the panel. So our longitude, according to the, uh, the magic numbers in the charts, says that generically we should be about a 60 degree angle off the wall to capture uh, the most sun as it comes down. That'll fluctuate 15 degrees in the summer, 15 degrees uh, in the winter, but we don't want to mess with this thing too much, so 60 degrees is, 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 is gonna work for us, and you know we don't need to be too precise with this thing, at least not yet. So I don't have a protractor, but we're just gonna try to bend this thing to about what seems like a 60 degree angle somehow, and this is still kind of flexible, so uh, if you're gonna err, err on the side of obtuseness, you know what I mean? Well, and the good part of this stuff is that it's flexible. The bad part is that if you bend it too much, it gets weak and it eventually snaps. I mean, that's how we got the uh, the end piece off. So you don't want to mess with this stuff too much, but you know, if you screw it up, you can you can bend it back a little bit. Uh, you want your long side. If you remember, we did 23 of these little holes. Uh, I don't know if you're going to get the same metal that that we got, but uh, Basically, as long as the holes line up and this thing's flush against the bottom, that's uh, that's the main goal there. So we can use our little quarter inch by three eighths inch screws. And up here, this is gonna go all the way through our little support bend. At this point, uh, you may want a friend to help you out here. Basically, want them to do this part if you can. Okay, so we have our uh, panel here with the mounting hardware all fixed. We got our little support structure. We haven't tightened anything down yet, but we will. So, what we're going to do now is mount this thing against the wall. We are kind of fortunate in that we've got these weird uh, pipes that don't seem to be used for anything. So instead of actually having to drill into the wall, we can just slide these two things behind the pipe. And on this guy, uh, that's worked pretty well. So we're just gonna slide this thing up there now. And there we go. So we can fudge with the angle a little bit later, but for now, now that we know that it's up there and it seems pretty stable, uh, we're gonna tighten these screws down. You might want a uh, regular uh, pair of pliers and uh, a screwdriver to get these things tightened down. We won't walk you through how to tighten screws. But let's take a look at our wiring. What I've done is built a little junction box here. What this does is takes the two uh, leads from the solar panels and merges them into one lead that goes to our charge controller. Now this wire uh, I found at a local electronics store. You want to get wire that's rated for as many amps as you can reasonably get. This is 16 by 2 or I think probably AWG 12 is the number. We'll go through all this stuff on our website picklesandammo.com. Uh, we've got forums up there which may be helpful if you have a bizarre situation you need to figure out. So pretty good uh, place for information and resources. But here's how we did it. So what I'm gonna do is connect these leads to the same spot that the leads are coming in here, positive to positive, negative to negative. So basically we're running these panels in parallel. The positive output from this panel is connected to the positive output from this panel and negative to negative. That means that we're getting the same voltage, but we're increasing the amperage. If we were to connect it negative from this panel to positive from this panel. That's called running in serial. And that keeps the same amperage, but doubles your voltage. So parallel means you get same voltage, double amperage. Serial means double voltage, same amperage. Since we're running to a 12 volt battery through our charge controller, we want to make sure that the whole system stays 12 volts. So we run in parallel. So positive to positive, negative to negative, and then this little uh, combiner box deal just runs those two wires down to a single positive 
and the two negative wires down to a single negative. And then this number runs down the side of our house into an old cable TV junction box. We basically just pulled that cable out and then traced this thing where that cable ran. And from there, it connects to our battery bank. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this stuff hooked up. If you have any questions, again, hit our website, hit our forums, and we can walk you through how to do this. Everybody's situation is going to be different, but I'm sure you can figure out something that will work for you. So once again, uh, thanks for joining us on this fun little project. We've been really happy with it, and hopefully you will be too. We'll see you next time.